Ahlan wa sahlan and welcome to this video. So I am going to do an update on these uh, hijabs that I ordered from fashion hijab shop. And uh, as you can see, I'm wearing one of them, which have these very nice kinds of uh, crystals. Uh, they are not real crystals, but it's like, <clears throat> as you can see, it's like kind of nice. So I actually order three more and those are the ones I'm going to show you because I've really been uh, enjoying these uh, hijabs and I think they are so good quality and I mean I have purchased them by myself so it's, I'm not so sponsored or anything like, like that. Uh, also I want to just recommend you because if you haven't tried it you should definitely test it out. Uh, hibiscus tea uh, so you're buying like only the hibiscus dried flowers and it's such a nice kind of tea it has this very distinct type of reddish color pink it, tone and you can also make like iced tea of it and add maybe some honey or something um so yeah so that's what i'm drinking so i'm going to well first as you can see today i'm wearing this one i have most of the like crystals towards the face and then i just have it i'm not wearing a under scarf or under cap i'm just wearing uh <clears throat> this hijab but i have it like double wrapped so I have one way and then I've wrapped it again so and it's like uh, fastened with some you know needles and stuff um, so I actually thought I order two more uh, chiffon hijabs and one cotton blend but it turns out uh, two of these were actually cotton blends and the one that I thought was similar to the one that I ordered with with a crystal uh, or strass type of line like this. I thought it also had like um, crystals on the actual fabric but it turned out it's only on the corners. However the color is quite neutral. It's very like I guess this one is kind of supposed to be tough uh, taupe color but I would say it's more like light brown uh, coffee kinds of uh, color but it actually is very good to have one scarf in this color that you can just wear with whatever type of prints and colors and multi color combinations you might be wearing and also because it has this very kind of neat uh, you know like line with strass stones it's sort of adding something more than just being brown and uh, because it is cotton like this it's kind of more um you know thick so it's not like so see-through and obviously if you're wearing this one you can wrap it like double so you will have quite good cover if you doing like a double so you may only have to wear the scarf and again very good size i don't know exactly the material composition like i know that it is with um uh, cotton but I also think it has some other form of blend so maybe some polyester or something because it is very I don't think this one is gonna you know make some scratches and stuff I think still I will uh, I'm just wa washing these like hand washing because I'm afraid that the stones and strass and stuff might fall off because they are basically <laughs> strass stones so I will be very careful with them when it's concerning like washing and stuff but uh, yeah so this is the the first of the three and as you can see it has very nice color I feel like it reminds me of a desert like a desert landscape the color so this one is super nice I'm really happy with the color uh, <clears throat> The second one is also in the same cotton type of blend, but it has uh, uh, the similar to another scarf that I actually order uh, and I have showed in another video. So this one is actually having like uh, pearl and crystal studs and it is on one end and then it sort of just disperses or like distributes like it just like uh, becomes more subtle as you progress throughout the fabric with these uh, beads and then on the opposite side there is nothing so this one is like clean and this one whoops 
this one has all of the studs. So it is very good like for fastening the hijab. Also if you look at the end here, you can see it has like this inch of like no studs and then it's starting off with all of the studs. So this one was in the color teal, so I'm supposed I suppose this scarf is supposed to be more like a um, jeans kind of bluish tone but it still is um, slightly towards the grey kind of uh, side of the nuance. So again very nice, I'm actually very happy with the color. It looks, I don't know how I would describe this color, I think it's more like, um, yeah like a jeans color really like a jeans color so this one I'm assuming will look quite nice with like a pair of jeans or something so and again very good quality I will hand wash it then the final one that I have to show is the one that I have another one which was in a I think it was in a mauve kind of color and actually it's oh it is the one I'm wearing so this one has the crystals here on one side then I order because this one is more dark so as you can see it is in a more actually the camera looks more brown uh, makes me look more brown and even the fabric but it is more like a mauve type of color so the one that I order is actually in a more um, blush kind of beige color more like light so I really like this color it is very uh, like very sophisticated and uh, it looks very nice yeah i don't know how to describe it but again it has like like one inch of this no um studs and then it's starting off with all these crystals along the entire um side and as you can see it sort of is just glimmering sparkling as it is uh, catching the the light and this one is in a chiffon very nice chiffon kind of color or fabric material but also the color again is very nice it's actually very hard to find like a beige kind of neutral tone that is not going to be too yellowish or too white or sort of wash you out as you're wearing it but I think this one is gonna be uh, because it is more nude but it has some form of warmth to it. Uh, I think it's gonna look very nice. So, yeah. And I wanted to show them before I am going to wash these hand washing because obviously you can probably hand wash them like multiple, multiple times, but I don't know the best kind of. Uh, how should it like the best soap or the cleaning kind of uh, soap stuff to use I tend to use like shampoo uh, like organic shampoo is kind of good for normal hair I use it for the hijabs just because um, as you're wearing it on the head it's also good to have something similar as you would wash your hair with because maybe some of the material from that soap or shampoo or whatever cleaning material you're using and excuse me it is the window and that is sort of catching in the wind and there is some noise uh, so because you will wear it on the head and you will catch maybe some of the traces from that substance of cleaning um, stuff that you were using I think it's quite good to use uh, shampoo and especially if it's organic because then you don't have any harsh, harsh uh, chemicals and stuff um, rather than using like a common form of laundry soap also I don't think like dish washing kind of soap is the best to use I think just to use shampoo is the best however I don't wash all my uh, hijabs in uh, shampoo I'm here merely do it with the ones that is more like you know like uh, delicate like this one since it has the crystal studs and st on them but uh, I think that yeah you could if you have the time and effort you could definitely like wash hand wash them in shampoo uh, but like if I doing sports or if I have more just cotton blends or like pure chiffon without anything on I would probably uh, put them into the laundry 
and sometimes I do not I do wash them with other clothes so I don't just washing like doing one laundry with just hijabs or scarves I'm mixing it up with other clothes if it's like cotton uh, so and because cotton is typically what I'm using if I doing workouts I feel like it's kind of breathable and it's kind of good but it still would be more favorable favorable to use like shampoo I think but for those reasons I when I washing those types of fabrics hijabs I do using common uh, laundry um, like soap but I would say that you can still find uh, laundry soaps that are quite like um, eco friendly that doesn't have any uh, fragrance so I try to avoid fragrance in all of the laundry um, like <laughs> like what do what do it's not called material substance laundry I don't find the word you know but anyway with the laundry stuff uh, to avoid fragrance because fragrance again can be um, irritating so and I don't want to add too much of like harmful stuff into my into my uh, like uh, I don't know into my uh, like stuff that I'm using on a daily basis so that was all for this video I hope you enjoyed it I will try and link the um, you know the name of the shop if you're interested look into their collection they uh, all of these hijabs were from their Eid collection so 2020 Eid collection and you will find them there if you if you are interested